What's up, guys? Hello. Episode 11 of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo House Podcast. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our guests last week. Dude, yeah. Jake, I had that was of, fun. I, I honestly wanted to go for another hour. Yeah. But I was like, I have to go home. Yeah, unfortunately, Dude. work and stuff is yeah. annoying. But yeah. yeah. Speaking of, uh, we just started the podcast and we're not stopping because I have to work tomorrow as well too. I just noticed I have a bunch of paint and like yeah, some you do. black shit right here. You and a bunch of paint on your right over elbow here. too. I've 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 been painting. And but it's on yeah. your also on your right elbow too. Oh fuck. It's fun. It's, it's fine. It's nice. Yeah. They, uh, for whatever reason, they moved me and they're like, we were told that you know how to do this, but we don't know if you know how to do this. So go paint. And I was like, I just did two weeks doing that so I can keep going if you want me to, but uh, I'll go right. paint. <laughs> there you go. Ugh. It's fun. Yeah. No, but it was fun with Jake. I was glad that, oh. uh, I look forward to eventually having more guests on. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd know, love to have Jake on again. A lot. Yes. He's He's got... I don't know if that comes across in the video, but I feel like we were vibing really well with him. Yeah. Like... Well, we just, we've known him for such a long time. Yeah. Like, like we talked Literally about, you know. the same know, amount of time we've known each other, minus a day. Yeah. It's been... Here you go, buddy. One week since you looked at me. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm I'm back at that. By the way, I'm so tired. I'm quoting song lyrics out of nowhere. I love it. Uh, we still haven't gotten Yingling, <laughs> um, but I found us something else. Um, because this, unfortunately, might be the last podcast we record ever. We're done. I'm just kidding. The last one we record in person, because um, COVID's coming back. So. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, depending how things go at our workplaces, you know, we're going to try a social distance podcast. And everything else. You'll still have content. We we're, we're recording plenty of the video game stuff ahead of time. Ooh, we got to cheers, buddy. As well. It smells good. This is one I haven't actually had. Which one Strawberry. is Strawberry. Oh. Yeah. I saw it randomly and was like, oh. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. I like it. Yeah. That's awesome. But, yeah, we're going to bring you more content eventually still. Yeah. There's still plenty of podcasts. We're going to keep going. Um, Next week, we will be bringing you a uh, Christmas episode that yep. Yep, yep. we will film at some point in the future, hopefully. Yeah. That we're one, recording uh, this plenty in advance because of circumstances at work and just in general a, a bunch of people uh they be getting the rona and we don't want to give each other the rona and our family members the rona so we're gonna do our due diligence and and stay the fuck home aside from you know going to work yeah that's it yeah unfortunately uh, but actually i think it'll be good man like if i go straight home and you're already home like we could knock out a lot of the a lot of stuff like and honestly like if i'm at home i don't have to drive all the way home we can just keep keep playing until like you know 11 o'clock 12 o'clock that'll work you know yeah or you know figure out some guests i can get the cat on there the oh, cat will be a cat. guest by the way the cat and yells. enzo enzo will be a guest love enzo yeah Best we gotta pop. figure out uh we gotta figure out how we're gonna like green screen me in here or just something you think we should uh oh we don't have the other mannequins do we those no. one them. damn <laughs> i was gonna say we could pop a mannequin right here and just like edit my face right here <laughs> so you're no. still sitting there no i can give you uh, a small green screen yeah if that'll be easy when it comes to editing, we can figure it out. I'll, I'll try. I'll I'll get it. We'll figure I'll it out. Figure I can do where it. To set it up at. But yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be hectic. But you know, we're still we're still pushing. And honestly, we've been come December. I mean, we've been throwing stuff together like 
nonstop, man. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing, too, is like, and that's because we're both busy at work, too. If we had more time, yeah. we could even. Which we're, like I said, like I was saying, <coughs> or trying to say, sorry. Not like I was saying, but what I was trying to say was that the amount of content we've done despite being busy as hell, like, it's it's gonna it's gonna get even more. It's been fun, but uh, we were hoping to try and eventually bring some of the sketch stuff we wanted to do. We tried yeah. doing one, but we just didn't have enough time to film in one night to get it. But we will get there. We might you be able will, to do. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll do some. We'll do something. Yeah, we'll talk off off camera for that one. But I got some ideas. We, we can I got some, some ideas, I think. Yeah. But next week, we'll be bringing you our Christmas special. Not sure how special it'll be, but we're going to do stuff. We're going to try and do some things. It'll be very special. It'll be... Actually, that might Holiday-ish. be the... ish That might be the last one we filmed Here's together. your birthday. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy... I thought you were going to say Halloween, dude. <laughs> well, it's uh, definitely not Halloween. No. We are we are a week out from Thanksgiving. Yep, we're dating it. Like we said, we're recording in advance because we want to start doing the social distancing stuff again. But yeah. also, we were already recording in advance. But yeah. yeah, now you're gonna get a lot more in advance, and then hopefully, when we come back in person, like my beard will be down here, and I can just be Santa Claus, be a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Harry wizard. You're a hairy wizard. My beard won't get that long. I, I won't allow it, dude. There's too much shit it could get snagged on. You gotta wait till you're at least like 60 to get a beard like that, just cause. Cause then you can look like a wizard. Well, I think, actually, my grandpa had a beard that long when he was... He's like 20-ish years older than my mom. I wanna say he was like 50. So, yeah, I'll just follow in his stead when I turn 50. I would love to have, like, big, majestic wizard beard. Oh, yeah. You know? Dude. Just because I think... I would love to dress up like one and just, like, walk around and fuck with people. Yeah. I I brought it up to Destiny. Um, Rhett? Yeah. I... I wanted so bad during the quarantine. I was watching him and I, I saw what was coming and was like, I want to do that too. Yeah. Because his hair is like, and his beard is just, and I'm like, I, I could do that. Yeah. Give me a year. I grew my hair out one time and it was not good. So yeah. I just cut it. The lowest they got was down to like here, and the only reason I wanted it was so I could do windmills from and when I was drumming and shit. And I watched. Then Goblet I was just like, Fire. I'm not gonna do it. Like Goblet of Fire, I watched that and was like, my hair's getting pretty long right now, and so is theirs. And then I kept it, and they didn't. Yeah. And then I joined the army and couldn't have long hair. Now I want long hair, but I hate long hair now. It sucks. This. I'm finally going much. back to my medium hair because I buzzed it during quarantine, so I'm growing back what I used yeah. to have. I had a bit of bit longer on the meat, you know, just thrown. So I, I buzzed it right before quarantine. Um, I had, was supposed to get my hair cut the week of quarantine, and so oh, I man. wasn't able to for a while, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I cut my hair and shaved my beard right before I got the new job. So I was like baby faced, like I think I had like half an inch of hair yeah. on top. I'm like, dude, within a week of me not having that beard, I was like, nope, it's coming back. I know it looks <laughs> shitty, but yeah. It, uh, yeah, I don't have a chin without the beard, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I like I go between like I just don't let it go too much past like yeah long stubble. We swapped, man. Like, well, the problem was is I look like Jebediah with my beard. I mean, I kind of, I don't look that good with a beard either. Man. Your mustache thing fills in better than mine does. Well, that's actually I grow out the sides. Like it doesn't. If you look, it doesn't 
grow it. I know, but nice. mine did that too. But yeah. like yours are just longer. Mine like. And I get the spider fangs right here if I don't shave it properly. <laughs> but mine really focuses on the neck. Like it really like if I had a double chin, it would look. It, it would be. <laughs> I just pictured one beard, skin, another beard. Yeah, <laughs> like, it I would don't just. Know why I would end up looking like I just imagine like. The nerd from World of Warcraft episode of South Park. Yeah, it just it's so it it's it's unfortunately neck focused, and it just it turns me from Brandon Jebediah. We should and it's we should do it one day. Uh, I've already got the maybe. beard grown out. You grow it out more, and I will just do mutton chops. And like okay. I'll I'll grow it out and not not really trim. I'll trim the the edges, but I'll, I'll I'm just gonna keep cut it going. everything but. Below my chin line. So full neck beard? Yep. Once I grow it to a real long length. Okay. We'll do it for, for that one podcast. Episode. I will do it for that episode. Okay. But I'll keep mine and then just grow everything back out. <laughs> I don't know if Melissa's going to be happy about this. I don't think, so at all. I don't think Destiny will. I'm going to look like shit at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, we're recording this in advance, too. So, like, <laughs> people are going to be like, that's a dumb idea. And then see you post on Facebook and go, oh, fuck. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want to do the ret thing, man. Like, <sighs> I want the mutton chops, but I, I, I just, I want to I wanna grow the hair out. To it. I don't know if I can. Long. We'll think about it. No, think about it. I, I don't, we'll I don't want to do something. Dumb. Maybe not now. In the future, yeah. maybe. If we go on lockdown again, then we have to. Okay. But if I end up not going to work, then yeah, I'll do yeah. that. Yeah. If Most we catch the Ronin and get that. sent home, but it'll be then fine. I'm growing my shit out. Like, I'm going to have, like, goldish and brown, luscious locks. There you go. And I'm going to add some highlights. Then you need golden armor and you look like a paladin. Oh, dude. Just come out of the podcast one day like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> dude, I want armor so bad. I I found some. Oh, but I already know where I'm going to get mine. Yeah, I already know where I'm going to get mine when I eventually save up to get it. It is going to be like, that is going to be my midlife crisis buy. Dude, I'm not even close to a midlife crisis. Maybe. I almost done. I almost did it twice now. It depends how much money I'm able to accumulate in the next ten years when I can buy armor, because like, unfortunately, there's like how the wedding and all that be? stuff to come forth, and then I can buy some armor. <laughs> <laughs> or. <laughs> idea for it i don't i don't want to mention it now oh but i have an idea for it okay how mm. much is the armor that you're looking at oh buying? it's probably gonna be a lot because the ones that i found were like 3k it wasn't wearable armor but it was you know like a suit of armor you could just oh no out. i'm wearing mine oh okay. that's yeah, why i'm probably a bit more expensive because mm-hmm. you'll have to have it like yeah fit it to you. yep yeah. yep yeah i want it fitted to me so i can like wear it to a, a renaissance fair yeah like I thought about like building armor that's like foam and shit, but I want like legit armor, like just to have. Yeah. So mine will, probably won't really either be like metal though either. So yeah, but like, like I plastic, want it. so it's lightweight and whatnot. But oh no 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 no! Like it's a place called uh, Prince Armory. They do yeah, like yeah. I've seen them. Yes. Yeah. Them. Yeah. I've seen them. Yes. So you I, know what, that's I, what yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get. Yeah. So I want the Power Ranger armor. Hmm. I but always like, thought as a knight, like knight's armor, but obvious like Green Ranger. Like I know the movie was bad, not that, but a different movie. Uh, the Dracula. Uh, one with Dude, the newest I one. That one. I haven't seen it. It was good. I, someone it said really it was bad. Was. No fuck. But them. that armor that he had. Yeah. I wanted that armor. People hated the people that said it was bad are like the Dracula like sticklers 
where I like yeah. Dracula is based off of Dracul, who impaled his enemies and drank their blood, and then he was imprisoned himself, and he continued to like impale rats and drink their blood, and yeah, who cares? The movie was cool. There was like a love interest, and he was like betrayed, and like became a vampire, and he wasn't the first vampire, but it was really cool, dude. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and they opened it up to be like. It could be a sequel that takes place now, where like the real yeah, battle I saw begins. The, I did see so the cool. actually no maybe I did see this. Like I want more of that, and it was yeah. the dude from the Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, Ivan, great actor. I think right. No, no, no. Uh, I I forgot his name. I, I thought it was something like Ivan. I don't know. I don't know, but I want I want more of that. It was good, but everybody said it was bad, and everybody's dumb. Oh, God, but I want armor. It's gonna happen. I'm I'm gonna make the Power Ranger armor. Sword has made it oh, to the yeah. wall. Sword has made it to the wall. <laughs> Microphone has moved because of the last episode. We liked it. It looks good on the blue. It does. We're Contrast. Gonna, we're gonna keep adding to the set as we go, because um, it, it it's a continuous improvement. Oh, and then um. You know, maybe maybe by then another game will come out that that will have a reference to, but it also references. Uh, oh yeah, Broforce. Broforce because of uh, Conan. Yeah, and it it'll reference something else maybe. We probably already end up talking about it, but yeah, we'll probably end up talking about it. Already. <laughs> <clears throat> Not right. yet. Maybe no. we might have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it know. might be out. It, it we haven't decided. Probably is out. Honestly. Probably. Yeah, probably. More than likely. It's Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, it's not. But which one? The Japanese Final Fantasy VI or the American Final Fantasy VI? Fun fact, I'm not going to tell that fucking story. Oh. They released them in weird orders in America. and Yeah, it's done. Oh, that's dumb. It's the good one. Someone will know which one I'm talking about. But that's not the game we're releasing. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> not yet, at least. That's no. a fun game, dude. Yeah. Like, it's old school, so... We, we'll, we'll definitely we'll, play we, it eventually. We might. Yeah. I do want to go through all the Final Fantasies, like, because you haven't. Yeah. But they're such long games. I should get back into the app that they had on my phone. There's a game that they played. You have... Uh, well, in your GS, yeah. Uh-oh. But the... Uh, Spiritualies. Um, they had a game on, that was on phone, I think, that I really liked. That was fun to play, so I'll, I'll have to get back into that for the fuck of yeah. it. Um, and we'll figure out how to record that shit, too. I'm sure it's easy. Um, Game Boy. I for sure want to do some dumb Game Boy games, man. Like, yeah. Uh, I'd love uh, to play Pokemon. Like old school Pokemon. Old yeah. school silver. Yeah. Which they're talking about remaking I that know. for Switch, dude. Oh my dude. I am so excited about that if that happens. Dude, I oh I had extra money. Like I don't care how much it's gonna cost. I am Oh, I'll get gonna, it. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'll get it. If it's a system that has to like I don't it's the only reason I bought a DS. I don't own any other game for my DS than Pokemon. That, I I actually bought a DS I don't care. for Pokemon and some weird Kingdom Hearts game that came out. And now it's on the game. And we can and play now it eventually. it's on that and we can play it. But I don't remember which one it was. Dream Drop I Distance? will forever play Pokemon games. I don't. I I know some of them are even bad, but like I'm going to Dude, play them. It it's, it's something about that like, the collecting, and also like the leveling up, like you feel that sense of accomplishment. Like, well, it's just but, it's fun. It's nostalgic, yeah, and uh, I mean the newer ones don't have that vibe for me anymore. Like like we talked. I think we talked about it. Sword and chill or whatever. I actually was just playing it again. My nipple popped out. No. Nice. Side boob. <laughs> it was on this side, so I think it was black. <laughs> but, like, I wouldn't mind playing it, but it, it didn't have that vibe like that. I mean, 
I didn't feel accomplished winning because it just felt easy. Well, I do agree did too, but I think if they made that same exact t- style of game in the more style version of playing it like the normal Pokemon's, like where I assume they will do with Silver. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, where it's less of the wild forest where you have like, because it is pretty easy to level up because everyone levels up immediately, quickly. I think if they made it more like you have to wait till you finally get like the experience share yeah, thing, the XP like share. halfway through the game. Yeah, where like you really have to power up your level to beat these guys type thing. I get make, why they removed it though, and made it to where they all level up at once, but. But I would like it to be uh, way more like the original, I agree. So if they can just essentially take the Pokemon Silver Game Boy Advance version of that game and just upgrade it to the Switch graphics in that open world style of walking around, perfect. That's all it needs to be. They don't even need to make it open world because technically the Pokemon games were open world yeah but just like yeah just make it that look yeah. like that style where you're running around it's Dude, perfect I, love it. no. I would i would pay i don't even care how much they charged i know they would charge the exact game amount but like i would pay dude i'm honestly thinking like i got a little bit of extra money now because of that last check and i'll continue to have a little bit of extra money but i don't want to spend it i want to like pay debt but yeah i'm thinking of getting breath of the wild like i'm gonna be dude if I borrow literally, it you have it i have it borrow oh, it yeah i'll just borrow it yeah like i've literally been sitting i haven't played it like, i've never beaten it yet i got like i've gotten a bit through it but i've played it twice now where i got pretty far uh because i played it at the buffalo house um yeah and then i moved and then i played it at george's house and then i moved so, like, I've gotten far, but I've never beaten it. And, like, I've been sitting at home now, and, like, I've got some games to play that are kind of fun. But, like, Zelda had that, like, you could hop on for, like, two hours and just go fucking explore. And then, like, yeah, save and shut it off. Yeah, like exactly. You know, everything else that I have to play is, like... I say Pokemon's kind of the same way, too, now. But yeah. That's how I was also, playing it. I was <clears throat> bored as fuck with Pokemon, dude. Like, after we did all that trading and everything, we were like, yeah, let's get back on next week. I mean, I'm at when was the... When was that? I like already, June? I actually, <laughs> well, I actually started playing that again like a, like a week or two ago. And I am at the... I beat all the gyms, and now I'm going to the championship tournament. But... <clears throat> Instead of doing that, I actually bought the expansion packs. Yeah, there was another DLC. So I went, did the one, got as far as I can to the point where I have to wait till I beat the game to actually complete it. And now I'm on the other part of it again. To, I'm going to finish that. I never really got through that before I restarted. I had just started it. Mm. So I'm going to redo that now. And then uh, get to wherever I have to and then go back. Oh, and I I found Sui Kun. Oh, nice! It was in the DLC of this for of the other ones. So that was really fucking cool. <laughs> that would be dope. Yeah. Yeah. So, God, we're gonna have to play through Pokemon now. Yep, dude. I Fuck. as soon as that game drops, like oh. that is gonna be the first game we probably do on Switch. Yep, more likely. As soon as that drops, that'll be. I'm. Let's make that well, our first game. Maybe. There's a couple other games. We could do some of those games. Yeah. But, but that'll be the first, like, game. For sure. Yeah. <clears throat> like, series. Yeah. Like, I don't even know if I'll be able... I'll probably, like... Die. I'll create a second account to play it on. Because I'll, so I'll play my... Trade? Yeah, not even. Well, that too. But I'll also just play my own game because I'm not going to wait to record oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna play my own game, and then yeah, we'll just like end up playing our we our, sh- our we character should together. Do that. Make a Buffalo House uh, screen name on everything. I have been. No, I mean for like PlayStation Switch. Oh, yeah, you know. So right now, you guys have already seen my PlayStation screen name, which I'm not gonna change because 
I've had that since like high school. But <clears throat> yeah, tasty. Yes, but no, dude, I would fucking love to play through Pokemon again. We'll I downloaded to. Fire Red on my phone. Oh. So, like, I've been playing through that when I'm on lunch and shit. Do they have it for iPhone? Probably not. It's a uh, emulator. An emulator, and yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. That's the one fucking down thing. I can't get an emulator. Android, baby. But, <clears throat> you know what's really cool? What? I got both. Oh, yeah. I don't use this for shit. Yeah, like you literally, really, it's I a work charged phone. it on Monday. Yeah, I charged it on Monday and like the battery life still. That's oh, how geez. much I don't use it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's a work phone for you, so. Yeah. But. Uh, I use it for emails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Kyle. I was like, is yep. your ceiling falling? Surprise! <laughs> no, um, I had to uh, do all my leaves today. That was annoying as fuck. Get up on my roof and... That is one thing I don't miss. By this time now, I assume it's going to have been snowed I, at snow, this point. Uh, so, yeah. Sunday. This so, it should, yeah, it should be snowing Sunday from this point, so... And I'm going to make a prediction. When does this come out? The week before Christmas? Yes. There will be no snow on the 25th. I mean, there might be snow on the ground, but it won't be snowing. I hope it snows. I want a white Christmas. I like that shit. <laughs> I say May. I love snow. I want a sled. Yeah, sledding would be fun. It is weird recording these in advance, too. I know. Cause cause I'm like, we, yeah, we really don't know I, what the fuck's going yeah. on at the time. Like, at this point, like... The, wor the world could be covered in snow. Like, day after tomorrow type the, shit. The world could be on fire. Could be. Could be both. At this point right now, the election is not even still officially decided, even though it is. It's, it's, but it's yeah. not official official. Yeah. Because technically it's never official official to a certain point. Yeah. But it's pretty much official. Like I could I could get into breaking that shit down, but I'm not. Oh yeah, no, for sure. But yeah. No. It's um My world's on fire. How about yours? Yeah. But, no, what I was going to say, <laughs> not knowing shit that's happening in the future, is I'm a stickler for, like, you hold off on celebrating Christmas until after Thanksgiving. Yeah, and that's like, fair. We're sitting here talking about Christmas, and I'm like, but... It, it's not even Christmas point. yet. <laughs> yeah, we even eat Thanksgiving. I haven't had my turkey. Which, that's going to be oh, fun. Figuring all that out. What spices and herbs and shit I can use. Oh, boy. Oh. It's doable. Yeah. But it'll be fun. Speaking of that, um, I'm going to buy her Christmas presents, and I'm going to bring them over here to wrap. Okay. If that's cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, um, I got to get going on Christmas gifts. I'm really bad. I The only people I've gotten gifts for so far are my mom and Melissa. I have her gifts oh, and planned Bill. out, but I'm like looking for the best deals on stuff. So, but I I already have it planned out, and like I'm gonna throw the tree up and just gradually start putting shit under it. And I told you my plan, so it'll, it'll be kind of funny. Yeah, I haven't even. I'm so bad at like thinking about that shit. I'm so bad at gift giving. Like, I mean, I'm good at it, but I'm also bad at it. Yeah. For Christmas, I mean, what I'm doing has a lot of like meaning. But yeah. it's also, like, a lot of that shit's kind of for me, too. Like, I'm going to use it. So it's, like, it doesn't have that, like, that romantic Christmas gift vibe, but it's also, like, kind of. Yeah. You know? I'm just thinking that, like, oh, oh. I almost Ooh. I almost punched that. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was my fault. I, uh, no, I've gotten ideas for some people. I just got to get. Get, I gotta get going on it personally. I'm just yeah really <clears throat> bad at making myself do stuff. And our Christmas presents here in the mail. Yep. I bought yours. You bought mine. Yep. 
Yeah, they should be here soon. They, hopefully, we'll have to... Yeah, should be here way before this video releases. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll have our Christmas early. Yay! Which I'm against. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But God, hopefully, uh, um, did you, did you lose it? Yeah, I did. I did. I lost it. I lost. My I heard thought, your phone guys. vibrate, and you're like, "What?" <laughs> I'll show you after the podcast. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. What do you guys do for your Christmases? What do you do for the holidays, Brandon? We're respectful. We have Jewish listeners. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And actually... And all the things. I don't know if she's a subscriber. I don't even know. I feel like she should be, because every episode we're telling somebody they're pretty or beautiful or handsome. I don't know if she's a subscriber. I'd have to double check. I don't even know. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Well, her husband, Chris, is beautiful. I don't think he's a subscriber at all, but it'll make her mad if I say Chris is beautiful. He's really good at memes, too. I get a lot of my memes from him. Good man. Yeah. Great man. Good man. He's not Jewish at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she'll I don't get mad about yum. that. Eat a pineapple. Yeah, yep, yep. Well, yeah. What do you guys do for the holidays and stuff? Yeah. You know, it's uh, shopping is crazy. I'm, oh, uh, my God. I do. There is. I do sometimes actually, in a way, look forward now to me and Melissa like to go to Partridge. I haven't been to Partridge in a while. And we we kind of do it like once a year yeah. type thing, just for like that's where I'll go. Like when I don't have gifts yet for people, that's where I go to like find something last minute because they generally have a good amount of yeah. random shit that like I can be like, yeah that'll work. Did I tell you that weird dream I had? Like I think it was like four years ago, maybe. I like had a dream that we were at Partridge and I like did like one of those crazy public proposals. Oh. But I was also single during, like, when I had that dream. Huh. I was like, what? That's not it. Why would I do a proposal in winter? It's cold in winter. I don't want to do cold shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was weird, man. And you were all, like, not excited at all. Because <laughs> like, you were in it. You're like, bro, what are we doing? And I'm like, I'm supposed to be the one mad that we're in the cold. <laughs> Why is it cold? Oh, this is a bad idea. I hate the cold, man. That's all right. But, uh, yeah. We can, uh, we're going to do that eventually. In a couple of weeks here. Yeah. Where it Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. I hope so. We'll see. Yeah. But, uh, so, weird questions. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. I got them pulled up. Cool, because I don't have much more data on my work phone. Um, Let me see. I'm going to find you guys a good one, because if you guys have any ones that you want us to yeah. uh, use in the future... Please send them. Yeah, put them in the comments. Write them. Please put them in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, follow yeah. us. I'm tired of our only comments being porn bots. Yeah. I want real bots. <laughs> like, a real bot. I want some Transformers in the chat asking me my opinions on life. Fucking Optimus Prime needs to hop in and just ask me if I believe in God. Just, Fair. Just Optimus Prime, though. He's the only one allowed to ask. <laughs> Sir, do you believe in God? That's not Optimus Prime. That was if, that if, was dying that was, Optimus yeah. Prime. I'm terrible. Just forget I said that. I am ashamed. He would ask so, that when he was dying, though. He would. Yeah. And then he was like, <laughs> and die. If you could change the length of the day to the perfect length, how many hours would you make it? I thought you were going to say something else, and I was going to be seven. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, the length of day to be the perfect amount of time. I like 12-hour shifts, and I like 8 hours sleep. 12-hour shifts max, and I like 8 hours sleep. But I also like to have me time. 
there's not that much me time. When yeah. You got a sleep time and you got a work time. Yeah. So I think I would just add another eight hours. So 32 hours? Yeah. 32 hours would be good. 32 and a half. Just to really fuck with the day. See, for me, I feel like I would just want at least like five or six hours. See, I'm going I'm going eight because I like to break things up into like eight hours. Yeah. Like quarters. Well, yeah, that's the thing too, is because like I would personally like I am gonna be finally I'm gonna be I should be going to a eight hour work yeah. week schedule again. So I'll see what that's like, but like I'm used to a ten hour one and I hate it. Yeah, I'm on tens right now. Yeah. And it's that not as should fun. be the rest of the year. It's so uh to me it's kinda like I really only get like four hours to do anything. Yeah. And that really doesn't ca- like Actually. cooking desk because that's the thing is like it, all the cutting of like I would Trapping. say six, because then I, w- I want at least four actual hours of me time. That's why I say eight. Cause I'd want 30. I would want 30 or 32. I could I could agree 30. But 32 to me, like, it breaks it up better. And, like, I could still get everything done that I need to get done. And if you do a 32-hour day, then you break your day up into 16 hours. Yeah. Which... That's fair. I would not like it to be broken up in 15 because that's dumb. I like even numbers. But if you broke your day in half and you had 16 hours for half a day and 16 hours for the other half, that's true. You could literally have. So then maybe I'd I'd want to. Actually, I'd probably want to say 28 then. Because then it gives me like eight hours to work, eight hours of sleep. So there's my six, there's 16 there. Mm -hmm. And then I have like. You know, roughly two hours to like, you know, do whatever shit around the house that I need to get done for the day. Cook, clean, meal prep for the See, next day. I'm still also saying thirty two because like you don't have a commute, really. Yeah, that's true. Like I have a commute sometimes. Right now it's twenty minutes, but sometimes I've got an hour. Like, yeah, one way. Yeah. So if I broke it into 32, then people like me that have a commute places and then occasionally are working like 10, 12 hours, like even if half your day is gone, that's 16 hours. And then you've got the other 16 where eight of that is sleep and then you've got eight hours for you. So you have like a work shift for yourself that can either be work on your podcast, work on your book that you're writing take care of your dog, you know, yeah. take no, care of yourself, true, you know, so you have an actual like eight hour work day for you where it could be work, okay. relax, whatever. And then you got eight hours sleep. You can yeah. break that up however much you want, but that will guarantee you. That yeah. That'd be cool. Even though capitalism would. Oh yeah. They would fuck buckets. you so hard on that. They'd be like, yeah. Oh, you have that. You can do a 12 hour work. You've got shift. an extra eight you hours in your day. Eight hours of sleep. Yeah. And- we're going to actually break up your shift to where you're four hours now, and then you can go home for three and then come back for ten. Yay. Capitalism. I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it tomorrow, technically. I work Sunday. Uh, this Sunday? Mm. That sucks. I might. I don't think I do. Yeah, it's that way. It's their way of making sure they can get a four-day work week out of us for... Because of Thanksgiving. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's money, man. It's money. But also, I might um, I might be going there when it ships. What we talked about, I might actually be going to your plant. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Might be. Oh, dude. Be I'd fun. be so pumped. Only for like a week. Maybe I mean, two. that's fine. Yeah. Should be real fun. We start the social distancing, and then I'm like, "Hello, <laughs> we said we'd only go to work." <laughs> yeah. Well, then at least uh, you all are forced to have to see me. Yeah. So that's fine. Dude, fun. that'd be so sick. Dude, I would. 
I'd disappear. I had that one time when Emilio worked there. Yeah, I remember would, that. That yeah. was when we were doing D and D. Yeah. Yeah, he God, would. Uh, yeah, he would uh, just come eat lunch with me every day. Yeah. And we just hung out for a half hour every day, and then he'd go to work wherever. So yeah, you could totally do that with me every day. Depending on where I am, and you're not f- if your door a door line stuff, right? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, you're not far. Nice. So, I you could come heat up my lunch for me, and then <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I'm on the line. I'm on the line too. No, I'm not on the line. I'm fucking measuring doors. Yeah, basically. But yeah, Which, no, it'd be fun. Actually, I don't even know if the line will be set up by then, because that's what I'm breaking down now. And then I'll be going over there for small parts and shit. So like gotcha. I'll be in that area, but not. Eh, yeah. It'll be all right. I'll see you. But no, I think, th- yeah, 32 hours. 32 hours will be good. Yeah. Or 69. Yep. Yeah. Totally, totally 69. Of course. The perfect amount of time. It's how many days I want in a month. It's how many months I want in a year. It's how many years I want in my life. And not if there's 69 months in a year. No, I'd be old. That'd be a lot. But so I also just thought about this too. So this is it. So on the show, uh, one of the podcasts I listen to called Where My Mom's At. Where My Mom's At. Is it? It's Christina Pazitsky from okay. uh, from your mom's house. Yeah, but uh, she has this thing called the Pazitsky effect because she has really fucked up and uh, um, immigrant parents. Okay, from like Hungary, and they just like like her mom is like or had like insane like bipolar and little mental issues so she was like they were both horrific parents and his her dad is like a massive playboy but so she's like basically grew up not with very much proper etiquette for anything yeah and so like she had these things and she calls them the Pajitsky effect where she realizes things in her life that she could do that makes them easier that she just didn't know existed Her first one was the fact that, like, so she would, when she'd get out of the shower, she would basically just, like, dab off with a towel and then get into her clothes wet. Because she was always rushed. So she never really thought that she could just dry off. She figured this out in her 40s. Yeah. That happens a lot, man. Like so one yeah, of those oh shit things. Yeah, so yeah. I actually what had was that your with last the comment? What was your yeah? What yeah. was your last one other than that? Like no, not like a but a thing that you a like, thing you do. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying that was my last like similar yeah. thing that I can think of. But like last... for them, she also said like when they realized they can buy more than one phone charger because they would her and Tom split one for like the first year and a half yeah. of their marriage or first year and a half of their relationship, and they're like, we can just buy another one. It's only twenty dollars, <laughs> and we both have one. I I haven't done this yet. Well, by the time this comes out, I have. But, like, I've been thinking about taking 10% of my check and putting it in my other bank account. Yep. And, like, not looking at it. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, man, that's going to suck. Every other, you know, Friday driving to the bank and pulling money out and putting the money in and that ATM fee. And then some dude was just like, yeah, I got my check split up. You know, it automatically deposits 30% into my other account and 70% into this. And I was like, I can do that. Fuck. I worked at a bank. I know you can do that. (laughs) (laughs) See, I've been doing that in my account. I just my I have mine uh, through my mobile app. Mm. We'll just like when it deposits my check will automatically send some money to my savings. Yeah. I know I, I I knew I could do that for that, but I yeah. was like, I want to put it in my other checking account at a completely different bank. Yeah. That way hopefully, you know, after five checks or something, I have enough to pay rent that I never knew I had. So I'll get like an extra, you know. There you go. Yeah. And it kind of forces me to not see that money and it's out of the way, but 
Yeah, no, I need to start doing that. But uh, I did it with this check and I felt great because I pulled out my rent and that extra 10% and was like, yo, that's a lot of money and I still got money, but not really. I'm kind of broke, but I mean, uh, I paid my bills. That's good. That's good enough. And I'm like, For now. Technically two weeks ahead because I already pulled out rent money. There you go. Which I don't want to live there anymore. Sucks. I want to move. I want a yard. That's really it. I just want a yard. Yeah. But I think with that, that'll be the podcast. We uh, will see you next week. Hope you guys have a good time. Uh, and again, Chris, you're gorgeous. Please subscribe if you haven't, Chris. Good man. Chris or Christopher, what do you go by? I'll fix it if you subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.